Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Island Boy Cuisine. Today we're going to be featuring three dishes for our Super Bowl Sunday coming up. So to start off, we have our jerk pork ribs. Then we have our chicken pulled or chicken pulled sliders. Pork, chicken sliders. And then finally, we have our turkey chorizo nachos. That's right. So to start off, we're going to start with our ribs. So how did you make this? Okay, so what we did was I got the small ribs mm -hmm. and uh, after I cleaned up prepared it I added um, about two tablespoons of jerk seasoning rubbing on the outside and under the on the carriage where the ribs are the inside of the ribs and let it sit for about two hours okay. so before you cooked it before yeah okay. so in doing that what I did was allow the flavors to enter the meat and of course it's important to remember you want to add a little bit of salt to your product. My jerk seasoning is good, but it's not pure salt like the others out there on the market. So at that point, after sitting out for a while, I put it in the oven at 250 degrees and let that bad boy go for about four hours. Okay. Uncovered, of course, so that way the heat from the oven kind of dries out the outside and give it a nice crisp texture. Mm -hmm. And for the last hour, I wrapped it in foil. So all that juice that's in there kind of start melting distributing right through it okay all right next our sliders yes the sliders um for the sliders easy thing to do as long as you have a crock pot you're in business i had about three and a half pounds of uh thai meat and to that i added a half a bottle of our very own island boy jerk sauce don't forget to stir it okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah you want to make sure you do that so we put the meat in, it's got to be skinless, the best way to go or else you're going to get all that fat flavor coming off into your sauce. It's going to be chunky. Yeah. So but not the good one. Right. <laughs> so you put it in the pot, add your sauce, stir it a little bit, cover it. And I cooked it for a couple hours, again on high. Um, for those that I know a lot of people aren't going out to work anymore, so they don't have to leave the crock pot on low all day. Nonetheless, while you're sitting in the kitchen doing your work, your office work, you put it in, you let it go low and slow, and you're good to go. Once it's done, the meat falls apart. You shred it a little bit. Um, you can reduce the, the sauce that is in there and make it thicker. You don't have to make it too complicated. Again, because this year, because of COVID, we don't have a lot of people coming over. So there's nobody to invest. Actually, in our case, we don't have nobody coming over. <laughs> right. So... We just um, toasted, we got some Hawaiian rolls, we toasted those, and with butter, a little bit of mother oil, and we put the, the pull product on there. Okay. Right. Can I make one? Yeah, you can make one. All right, you can make it. So, let me show you a little bit. So basically, this is the product here. So it's pulled, nothing too, you know, yeah, you know, you take off the top there for me. You just put that on there. And guys, if you want to introduce your vegetables, you can put a little coleslaw on there if you want. Not necessary. Or you can just have it straight. If you're having multiple dishes, you don't want to... Go ahead and stab it. Yeah. That actually sounded really satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't want to... You, we're making a lot of food here, so you don't have to build too much on it. And these three here are optional. You can put salsa on it, guacamole, or sour cream, whatever your preference is. That's what she likes to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but sometimes I like them. So um, next, on to our nachos. Nachos, Yay. not your cheese. Yay. And for that, we're going to be using our turkey chorizo. This was a big surprise to Island Boy. We actually had um, this... I. Knew a chef from many years ago, and he reached out to me and asked if we could craft um, this product for him because he had a lot of Indian clientele who don't eat pork, which is traditional for chorizo in this side of the world. So it has done very well, and for other chefs who have tried it, thank you very much. They're loving it. So for that, uh, on nachos, you can put anything you want. You can put cheese, vegetables, beans. I like cheese a lot. Yeah. Um, more cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't let anybody fool you. You want anything on there, you put it on there. For ours, we're going to use some black beans. Mm -hmm. And basically, you know, throw it on there, sprinkle it all over, let it get in there somehow. 
Okay. It'll find its way. Yeah. We're going to put some tomatoes. All right. This can be a colorful dish. Yeah. Some people put scallion onion on there. You can put more vegetables, which I won't do. Right. We'll put some cheese so that bad boy can melt. And then you put your And then you meat. put your, yeah. Important, you get your, your turkey chorizo, cook it down before or, or whatever meat you want to use. And if you want it to melt a little bit better, you can always pop it into the microwave. Yep. Because, of course, most of you at home don't have a salamander like they do in hotels. So we put a lot of cheese on top of there and make that bad boy nice. And, of course, like I was saying earlier, you're not limited to what product you want to, you can put in there. So another thing that we're going to do is you go to your store and you can get your melted cheese, cheese that you want to melt. And in our case, we have some here. You just mix it up a little bit. Maybe? Yeah. And you just, just put it over. Yeah. You put some bad boys. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to try the nachos and the ribs. I'll try the sliders. Oh. <laughs> Why are you rushing it? Make we finish now? Because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So she wants to eat, of course. Yes. So you're going to have the sliders. Yes. All right. While she's having the sliders, let me talk to you about. Um, for our next video, we're going to be partnering with a group called Adventure Theatre. Adventure Theatre is one of the longest running uh, children's work theatre, workshop theatre in uh, the DC, Maryland area. And they've asked us to help them with their fundraiser, which will be on February 28th. Join in. Um, we will be doing for them some chicken meatballs with um, pasta. Pasta. I like An pasta. Another of our favorite. And um, they're going to be raising money. And trust me, people, it's for a good cause. I remember one of the reasons why I jumped on this opportunity to, to help them and partner with them was when this one here, many, many years ago, was a tiny talk. We took her to a show there, and that was Three Little Birds, and um, she absolutely loved it. Uh, so please check them out. And if you want to contribute to them, Text adventure to 56651. That's 56651. It's a good cause. Uh, enough talking. I'm going to try my ribs here. Just one. Eh? Just one. Oh, okay. Mmm. Okay. See? Come look at this baby. It just falls away. Nice. The flavor went right through it. Of course, with the biscuits, it's going to go off the chart. And of course, you're not joking. Cheers. Alright, mine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Sounds like a plan. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.